Welcome to All Things Real Estate CRM. My name is Gary David Hall. Okay, today is part two of the Realvolve review, and I'll be looking at the contact screen, Evernote integration, and Zapier integration. Okay, let's take a look at a contact record. We have my, our search for anything, our recently viewed. Remember, if I search for anything, if I just key in my last name, everything that has anything to do with Hall is going to come up. So, make it easier on myself, I can just back that out. If I key in my name, I can then click on my name. And we have our R factor. When you would originally create a contract contact record, you can just click right there. Here is something unique in the industry. If I hover over this I, in a contact record, or in a property record, or in a transaction, and they will be elsewhere in the future. If I hover over it, I can see a long, crazy email address. That's a specially coded email address that's specific to this contact record. If I click on it, it says very quickly there, copied to keyboard successfully. So now, uh, clipboard, I'm sorry. So now it's copied to the clipboard. What use do I have of that? Let's suppose I have some, somebody uh, is going to send me some files um, relevant to Gary's record. I can just now paste that email address in an email to that person and say, when you get those documents, just send them to this email address. I don't have to receive and store them. I don't have to do anything because when he sends those emails or that those documents to that email address, they will be automatically stored right here. How sweet is that? All right. So can you think of how that might be applicable? How about in a mortgage situation where you have your originator or the processor may be sending you documents. You just send the processor the email address associated with the transaction and bingo. So, next, uh, we have our R factor here. That R factor is going to be based on many different things, one of which would be how you categorize this person. In this case, in Realvolve, uh, categories is often used for like buyer, seller, things like that. In Realvolve, they're using the term categories to describe the ABCD. A being uh, the best kind of contact you can have, refers you a lot, so on and so forth. D being someone that you question whether or not should even be in your database and those in between. Radar, essentially the same as on the dashboard. Start a workflow. What do you have to do is creating an activity. And note how many different kinds of activities you can do. Okay, which is not the case in any other CRM. You can color code the activities if they're urgent. You could make them red, date, time, who they're assigned to, priorities, and again, you can tag them. This universal application of tags throughout the program, I, I don't even understand yet how useful they're going to be because I'm not using this on a regular basis. But I can see that it's going to make a huge difference in how easy it is to find things. Then we go to the contact. Here is where the bulk of the, the R factor is going to be determined. You have your conventional information, your many different social media links. Something that's been an issue with CRM forever and why I don't know is if I want to send an email to both, let's say, husband and wife, but to both of their email addresses. So I want to launch a drip campaign and have it go to both of them. What a concept, right? Shouldn't be that difficult, but it has been throughout the history of real estate CRM. Some of them have uh, now 
are, are doing fine with it. But it just it was crazy how many years it took to, to accomplish that. Um, in RealVolve, what they're doing is you do have two separate contact records for husband and wife, but you have them linked. And if I go into edit here, when I create the first one, I just do everything like I create a normal uh, contact. If I already added them, the other spouse in there, so be it, that's fine. But if I haven't, I can actually generate that additional contact right here and copy over information. It's copy following details to relation. So this is a really neat way of handling that aspect. Birth dates, home purchase anniversary, children's names, all this is going to build into that R factor. Record owner, type, active, referred by, date, source type. Details, last call date, last personal visit, last personal note. This will probably be happen automatically. When you add a note, it'll pop up in here. Uh, client ID, rent on stage. This, again, will be automatically populated, but you'll be able to override that. Known since, huge factor in the R factor. How many years have you known them? Lifetime value, how much money have you made as a result of knowing this individual? How many times have you listed and sold a home and how much did you make as a result of that? What's their annual income? The year move, their sex. All plays into the R factor. Google Maps when you put an address in. Properties they're associated with, transactions they're associated with. If, you're, if they're a buyer and you're showing them houses, you can track the homes you've sent to them. Files, any uh, appointments will show on their calendar, tasks, all day things here, activities with that person, and Something we have to talk about is this I here. Email. This takes a little bit to get going with Google but I, or Gmail, but I'm tied to Gmail here. So what happens when I click there? How about this? These are all the emails that I have with Gary Hall in Gmail. And not only... Does it display them to me here? So, so what's the big deal? Well, the big deal is that I don't have to get out of here and go into Gmail and bounce back and forth and back and forth. I don't have to go to Gmail and search and see what my emails are with Gary. They're all right here. So, And I can forward, reply, all of that right from here. That is sweet. Also, brand new in the industry. There are similar capabilities, but not the ability to um, reply uh, and forward and reply all. Last but not least, this, if I hover over this, you see this uh, long, crazy email address. That email address, if I click here, will be copied to the clipboard. And right now, when I send that email address, what that's going to do, if I send that email address to somebody and say uh, those documents that um, I wanted, just send them to this email address. When they do, they will automatically be stored with this contact record. In the future, and this works, uh, this I is available in the contact record, the property record, and the transaction record. And in the future, I'll be able to, with a coded email address in a transaction, just pop that up, copy that email address to the clipboard, send it to the loan originator and say, when you get that documentation in, send it to this email address. I will not even have to receive that email address or email and store those attachments, those documents, it, because it will automatically store with, in the files section of the transaction. How sweet is that? Something I don't think I've mentioned yet is that RealVolve has an API, an interface with Evernote. So I'm in this contact record. 
I can click on Evernote and store this information, this contact information, in an existing notebook in Evernote, which this is my Evernote notebooks list, or I can create a new notebook and attach this information into Evernote. Let's clear that out. Another uh, really cool attribute with Realvolve is its relationship with a company called Zapier. That's Z-A-P-I-E-R dot com. And here's their site. And you can see they're affiliated with over 500 different apps. And certainly all the Google apps. So the way it works, let's say, for example, you could create a Google form and send that Google form to a showing agent. If they filled out that form, it would go to Zapier because you had trained, if you will, Zapier to fill out, take the forms or take the fields from the Google form and then place them in the correct fields in um, Realvolve, you could have that whole process automated. Well, this has turned out to be a very long review. Hopefully it was equally as informative. If you're considering trialing or purchasing Realvolve and you found this to be helpful, I very much hope you will do it through my site. The URL appears below. That's GaryDavidHall.com. The price is $37 a month, which is the same as the vendors. No one else is authorized to offer any discounts, but I do include a 30-day trial free, and my Transplants emails come included with it, which are a $49 value. Thanks for listening. I started in real estate sales in 1987 and started using a DOS real estate CRM called real estate specialist in 1988. I've watched literally every single one of them come out since then. And all of that information and much more is on this website. There are, there's the better part of a hundred pages here. Uh, please take advantage of it. There's nowhere else like it on the internet. Thank you. Again, my name is Gary David Hall.